in y'all so i'm driving y'all know how the lighting is when i'm driving and keep going in and out in and out in and out i am on my way to go get my eyebrows threaded y'all i have not had my eyebrows done first of all i don't think i don't even get my eyebrows done like consistently like i don't get it done like every four weeks or whatever i pretty much honestly i probably get them done september and we are in december three months it's been three months i used to always get my eyebrows uh waxed but then i would realize that the wax was always leaving like little bumps around my um eyebrows and i would have to wipe it down with the alcohol which when i wiped it down with alcohol the bumps did not come however why are the bumps coming anyway that's my question is the wax dirty so i started getting my eyebrows threaded because my um and ever since then i was doing that da, da, sir. baby listen i ain't got time to be hitting nobody so yeah that's what we're going to do and i'm also getting my feet done you guys let me tell y'all so baby listen my feet look so bad my feet look so bad so bad i didn't even i don't even be wanting to walk around the house with my feet showing that's how bad it looks oh. y'all that's how my feet look i'm only showing y'all this foot because my other foot is effed up because one of my toes is bruised so it's not even it's just but I don't know it's different because i got a red french tip versus my regular white but and this is the toe that was bruised so oh lord I ain't focusing this is the toe that was bruised so it's not too bad but yeah that's how my toes look hey y'all it's much later i'm about to cook dinner today is thursday however we are, we are i hope y'all can hear me because twins is watching finding nemo so I'm cooking nachos tonight on a Thursday. And let me tell y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how to cook the best nachos in the world, okay? These nachos, <laughs> these nachos are so good. This is the first meal I ever cooked for my man. And guess what? Here we are, seven years later. <laughs> wash my hands I'm gonna go ahead and put the meat inside the pan oh no 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 stop bye bye oh man my taco season it need to be refilled one moment please You know what, y'all? I'm gonna actually use. I had just bought some tacos not too long ago, and they came with a seasoning packet. So I'm gonna just pour this inside. Seasoning. Okay, so. So we're gonna cook this down. I'm gonna pour just a little bit of oil because I got um, lean meat, so you know how I don't be producing a lot of oil. So I'm gonna pour some oil. The two chips that I use is Cool Ranch Doritos and Nacho Cheese. Honestly, you can use whatever chips you like, but one day I just decided to use the Doritos and they love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour these in a bit. This is the pan I'm gonna use. I usually um put aluminum foil down, but we don't have any, so the pan is clean. It looked dirty, but it's clean. I'm gonna take the chip and pretty much layer it. Next, I'm going to take some Tostitos queso. And I like to shake my jar up because it be coming out all like in big chunks. 
So I just pour it on top. Okay. And then I do a layer of the Sargento four cheese Mexican. This is the only Mexican one I use. And then I just do a, another layer of the same exact thing. And this is how it looks before it goes in the oven. So now we're gonna put it in the oven at 350. I can't tell y'all exactly how many minutes. I just put it in there until I like how it looks. So let's go ahead and put it In the meantime, it's time to open the tree. So I got a flock seven and a half foot tree. It's pre-lit. Liv, you gonna help daddy? Y'all see her hair. I did her hair all nice and cute and now look at it. A mess. Kelani. Kelani, hi. And look at Khalil doing what he do best, pulling the chair everywhere. Girl. Girl, get your. Get out of the box. Looking good, baby. The nachos are done. And I like that I got the warm lights because it makes it look so cozy. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so happy. Tomorrow we're going to unfluff it and make sure everything is all down. You know, you know, you know, you know. The nachos are done though, so I'm gonna go ahead and plate their nachos. Yeah, so we gone, uh -huh. stop, we good, stop, chill, we on, yeah. scale, let's go, let's go, Domingo, let's go, Domingo. take, let's go, set, let's roll, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it, yeah, straighten it, straighten it, straighten it, yeah. Hey, you guys, I'm on my phone. I'm about to, this was a spur of the moment type of thing. My friend asked me that I want to go out tonight. So I was like, yeah. Honestly, I really didn't want to go out. And it, it's nothing against her. She know that. I just don't have the urge to go out anywhere. But I don't want to get so in the habit of not going nowhere that I don't go nowhere. Like, I just don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be a homebody because I'm not a homebody. So when I'm in the house too much, it messes up my mood because I don't like being in the house all the time. But on the flip side of it, the process that it takes to get ready, pick out an outfit, look decent, it just takes too much. And I don't have no clothes. I don't have no clothes. But anywho, oh my gosh, I'm ashy. I'm ashy. Ashy bashy. All I got is some aqua for which is like Vaseline. Don't use that tonight. So we're going out tonight, y'all. I forced myself to go. I was literally was sitting down, and me and my friend, like, we are so in tune with each other. She texted me and she was like, because I was like, oh my goodness, I don't want to text her and tell her I don't want to go. So she texted me and she said, you know, she said, I won't what she said, I oh, she said, I don't understand if you don't go, if you don't want to go. And I was like, you must have felt my mood because baby I was definitely sitting in my chair literally kicking my feet like a child because I was like I don't want to go out but I do want to go out but I don't want to go out do that make sense do y'all understand like I want to go out and see my friend and spend time with her and have fun but then on the flip side just laying in the bed rubbing my feet together but I'm all naked <laughs> that feels so much better <laughs> but I'm trying not to get into that mood of me not wanting to go places, y'all, because listen, if I get in that mood of that I don't go places, I won't go nowhere. And I don't just want my life to just pass me by. So, anyway, I said all that to say I'm going out tonight. I know the, the, the listen, me in the car.
car. I'm on my phone because I ain't bring my camera because I didn't even plan on vlogging. But I said, you know what? <sighs> Let me show them what I'm doing. <laughs> so um, I just have on some gray tights. Some of them, what do they call? Like the Balenciaga sock shoes or whatever. I don't even know what they call, but them shoes. And a, a misguided windbreaker. And this, oh, y'all can't even see me. And I'm telling y'all my outfit. Well, y'all can't see the outfit anyway either. So just visualize it. <laughs> Gully. I really think this one of my kids had because I couldn't really fold it over. You know how Scully's supposed to be. I said, you know what? We just gonna flip this down to cover the five head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, y'all saw I cook I cooked nachos tonight, but I didn't even eat any. I just let them eat some because once she asked me that I want to go out, the place we going to, I do like their food. So I was like, I'm just eat there. glasses need to be clean real bad hold on we're back in business baby um i am on my way to bath and body works for candle day because today and tomorrow is candle day which i'm pleasantly surprised at the price of the candles because everybody was saying that the candles was going to be like 12 dollars and 95 12.95 but um they announced that the price was $9.95. Camera recording. Okay, baby. We was able to get in here, y'all. There's no line, so. Yeah. So I'm back home. I actually been home for a while. I've been in here trying to clean up so I could start decorating and fixing the tree. I need to go ahead and um like spread it out how it's supposed to be, you know, the tree. Cause it's just over there looking real like baby. Where is the top? There's no top. The top is bent down. So I need to go ahead and get that together. But I want to show y'all what I got from Bath and Body Works. So I got Bright Christmas Morning. Cactus Blossom. I got two. I got two of the Cactus Blossom because Cactus Blossom is my favorite. Black Cherry Merlot. Peppermint Hot Chocolate. Which this is my first time getting this one, but it smells good eucalyptus mint and y'all i really only got this one if you know why i got it comment below tell me why i got eucalyptus mint okay <laughs> if you know me if you know you know lakeside morning caramel drizzle flannel mahogany teak wood white gardenia and pink apple punch and i also got um let me show y'all what else I got. Because I did get some stuff that was not candles. So. I got the eucalyptus mint. Um, foam and soap. Why did I get it y'all? <laughs> and. I got another of the lip glosses. My all time favorite one right here. Which is the mintha lip shine. But it's in a look. I don't, I don't even know what it's called honestly. I just know it's in a green tube. I like this one. And I got three. Three hand sanitizers. Because remember I told y'all that I'm going to put the hand sanitizer outside for the uh, mail deliverers. So yeah, that's what I got. Um, I'm about to go ahead and... My son is here with me today. I already told y'all that. But we, I'm about to go ahead and fluff out this tree. And then we'll start decorating. Honestly, y'all, I don't think I have enough of the red ornaments. But we gonna see. So... Let's get started. I got my, uh, listen y'all. We is in the mood, Motown Christmas, baby. All right, y'all. So I fluffed out the tree. The bottom of it is a little Crafty. spacey. So we definitely have to go fill that up, but I went ahead and fluffed it out. It looks much better. The top of the tree, y'all. So y'all see that part up there? It, it kind of like look flimsy when it's like flipping over. I mean, when it's, when I'm trying to sit it up straight. So I'll say, you know what, let me just turn it a little bit and I'm gonna see how it look after I put everything up there. Cause y'all know the, the Grinch tree usually have a curved top, but it's the whole top that's curved. And baby, I ain't curving this whole top. Me and him is about to decorate. He been waiting all day to decorate. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, 
all of this stuff is still sitting over here from when I showed y'all decorations. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Christmas stuff over there and we gonna start decorating. y'all so we got the ornaments up here i feel like it's um you know it's not like a lot of them because we still have a lot of stuff that we need to put on the tree i don't like how the bottom is spaced out but i can't do nothing about that it's like they just forgot to put a branch or something i don't know but we did red and green so now we're gonna add These this stuff, stuff. This stuff right here, which he's excited about that part. <laughs> y'all, I wanna give y'all a real look of the tree once it gets dark, cause I feel like it'll look better. But this is the finished finale. And I love it. I feel like it looks so good. I love it. I was not able to get this head. Like the pics, I just, I don't know what they wanted me to do with that, honey. So I just, listen, I just did that. I did with y'all see and then I added then I added the we wish you a Merry Christmas sign and I put the stockings up and I added this thing the Grinch figure and I'm sitting over here so my stuff but we have the green throw we have the pillow so i wanted to show you guys what i got from american eagle i got these socks from american eagle aren't they so cute when i got them i thought that they were going to be like little footies but i pulled them out and it was these and i was like oh my goodness and y'all they feel so comfy and then at the bottom of them it's a little dirty but they got the little things yeah so anyway i'm gonna show y'all more when it gets dark. I tried to cover this little thing up. I hate that little three-part section because we don't use it. As you can see, it's junk up there, which I'm going to have to just take that stuff out. But I'm about to sit down and watch Wednesday and eat, y'all. I'm so tired. Listen, baby. I'm tired. I'm about to put the candy in the candy bowls. So it's finally nighttime, so I wanted to show you guys how it looked at night, and I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> so this is how the tree looks at night. I wish I kind of had a little bit more items, but this will do, y'all. So <clears throat> I really love the Whoville sign. I feel like it brings it all together. I moved the Grinch head a little bit further down. And just put, you know, a couple of the photo, photo props that I had showed y'all in my haul. So this is how it looks. It's very beautiful. And up here, I did the We Wish You a Merry Christmas sign. I put a candle right here. Here are all of our stockings. And here's the thing I was showing y'all in my haul that shows like the Grinch. You know, just change lights like a LED swirling light. Here's the Grinch must just sitting there looking cute. Over here on the couch, I have the Be Merry Not a Grinch pillow. And then I just put the green, I just put the green throw over there. And then over here, we have the candy bowl, the Grinch candy bowl. I put up the mat, the drying mat. Usually this has like a black tray under it. So I just, you know, 
for the sake of to be able to use this i just put the drying mat right here here's the matching soap and then i have my cutting board right here just to have it here like so it could be easily accessible and because i felt like honestly i felt like i got so much stuff but now that it's all out i feel like i don't have enough like to me i need something over here i just i feel like sometimes y'all i underestimate the size of the house and i be feeling like you know i have enough decorations and then i put it up and it doesn't be enough so anyway <laughs> and then i have my two Grinch spatulas and over here I have the how many days till Christmas which is 24 the eucalyptus mint candle and then over here I just did something simple over here I had this from last year this was already here like it just shows the date and just home sweet home and that's it you guys I honestly like this was this is definitely every year I feel like I just start learning more and more like what more I need because this just looks too empty. Anyways, this area is not really decorated. We just really have the couch here. So we need more. We need like an end table. I don't know about a, um, a coffee table because I can already see the twins will be climbing all over that. But we just need more. You know, it's just empty but for the sake of right now i really like it i did have the fireplace um thing going that be on um youtube <laughs> because we are we's not lighting that fireplace okay it costs too much <laughs> honestly as far as the decorations tomorrow i'm going to actually do the porch because i still have not did that yet so yeah it's a good little vibe. I was just sitting down here watching TV, having me a little drink. And now I'm about to go upstairs because I'm tired. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I will see y'all in the next one, which will probably be not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow because I'm not vlogging every day. I already told myself I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So I'm just, I'm attempting to do every other day so yeah so you guys i love you i love you i love you i love you and i'll see y'all in about two days <laughs> bye